We're here on the Rock of Donamace in County Leash, one of the most dramatic sites on the island of Ireland and home for several centuries to an Anglo-Norman castle famous for being part of the marriage dowry given to Aoife, daughter of Gerard MacMurrah and wife of Strongbow. But a few centuries before all that, there was already some kind of settlement here, the Dune, which gave its name to the place Dune Mask and which has left a few fragile traces. Alongside all the massive walls of the Norman castle, there are a few more fragile dry stone walls dating to the 9th century. I'm standing on one of them right now. And archaeologists digging here found evidence that some kind of metalwork took place here. A little fragment of gold filigree was found in the ground. They found a coin too from the 9th century kingdom of Wessex showing some kind of links with England. Apart from these tiny archaeological traces, this fort turns up in the historical record at least once. In the year 843, the annals of the Four Masters tell us that Dune Mask was plundered by the foreigners, that is the Vikings, and says that many were killed on this spot, including Cehernoch, prior of the Monastery of Kildare, that's the monastery founded by St. Bridget. Another monk, Aid, the abbot of Terry Glass and Clanina, was taken prisoner by the Vikings and carried off into Munster for he too suffered martyrdom. What kind of community lived here at the time? Was it a secular fort or a monastery? It's not known. But whoever lived here, the monks of Kildare and Terry Glass and Clonina thought of it as their safest defense against marauding Vikings. We can only imagine their terror as these dry stone walls gave way in spite of all their best defensive efforts. We know little else about the monks and probably nuns too who sought refuge here apart from the manner of their death. But we do know that if they were good monks and nuns, they would have sung every Sunday the Te Deum, a hymn that mentions the noble army of martyrs. In this place, or not far from here, these forgotten figures of monastic Ireland joined that noble army. <laughs>